I wanted to change the subject again. Um, new Story is a nonprofit. Uh, My First Bitcoin is also a nonprofit. Bitcoin Beach is a nonprofit. Uh, Toro Goes Dev is a nonprofit. Um, it seems like Bitcoin's really uh, impacted like the, the social aid um, aspect of things in El Salvador. Would you say that's accurate or is it just uh, my perception from doing interviews with people that are doing nonprofits in El Salvador? I will say yes, because well, Tor Toro was dead. You know, they're focused on education. You know, they're giving away free education um, for uh, developers. Uh, my first Bitcoin is educating on Bitcoin, you know, how to use Bitcoin. And uh, well, us, we are giving homes here. And there's, well, my first Bitcoin, you know, you, you probably know about it. Uh, I mean, uh, built with Bitcoin, you know, they're doing other stuff here in El Salvador as well. You know, you know, it's like a, the whole thing, uh, it's not only a commercial or business thing on Bitcoin, but also the, the community side of it, which is, is putting everything together. Yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking now um, about that story you told me, and then the, the new story kind of thing. Uh, sorry, guys, there's, there's a lot of uses of the word story uh, in this podcast already. <laughs> I keep uh, yeah. I keep using all the story puns uh, unintentionally as well at times. Um, but I suppose is there is there any advice that you've got? Because obviously we're talking about these different non for profits and and the difference that is being made. Um, part of it is obviously to, to get to get better with this and to kind of increase the effectiveness and increase the amount of donations coming through and just increase the awareness of everyone globally um, about Bitcoin and how they can use it to, and how they can spend it. Um, is there like any tips that you have for, because obviously there's people potentially listening from many different community projects who want to start a community project or want to help out the charity, who know a thing or two about Bitcoin. Is there any like uh, tips you have for, kind of like orange pilling people, I suppose, like, because um, obviously you've worked in that quite a lot, like with the community and being a brand ambassador and then working partnerships. Is there any kind of like, uh, yeah, tips or advice you have? Is there like kind of like things you you check through in your head when you try or questions you ask or anything like that that you could tell people? Well, first of all, uh, it's something something that I learned here in the story is being transparent. You know, all the, all what we get, it goes straight to the families, to, to, to homes. Uh, there's another, another donor area that supports the operation, but, uh, but what we get on, on the website, for example, it goes straight to the, to the families, you know, transparent, being transparent as, as transparent as it gets, you know, the more transparent you, you can be with it. Like, okay, I'm getting this $10 and these $10 are going to this family, you know, specifically, you know, and uh, it's not only, okay, we, we're getting your money. Uh, and we'll help someone, you know, in El Salvador. But, you know, put a name where your help is going. And uh, being a facilitator, you know, I, something that I learned for, from the community, from Bitcoin communities, that we are not, uh, you know, close. We are open to help. And, and, not, and not only for communities, you know, help to develop more uh, leaders, more <clears throat> schools, more uh programs is like <clears throat> sorry uh being a a like a network connector like open the door always for everybody always uh being willing to uh, I, let, let me put the idea together i got this here like being a facilitator just yes okay i i see the need here but i see who can help here so i'm gonna connect them Right, it's, even though I'm not part of it, but I can do it. So, be if being a facilitator is something that I learned from the community, from the Bitcoin community. Uh, also, Rodrigo is one of them. You know, from you guys, Bit, from Bitrefill, he's one of them. You know, I learned a lot of it. You know, being like that, and um, and one other thing, <clears throat> don't don't waste the time of people. Like, okay, there's a project that we want to build, for example, a project that we want to do next month. And, uh, okay, I'm going to put this, this uh, organization, I'm going to bring these people so they can see this project. But the project, it not, it's not really happening, so don't do it. Just don't put just ideas, you know, put, put a word in it and, and, and make it happen. Gotcha. Yeah, I can imagine there's a lot of well I, I mean in all of life there's people who always have like great ideas but then like actually executing yeah. on them is another thing and as you say like 
I think that's important for like any, to be honest, anything really. I mean, nonprofits, businesses, governments. I mean, you, you kind of want to know where your money's going, essentially. Um, yeah. So, for example, if I paid my taxes and I got told where specifically every pound of my taxes went, I'd feel much better about paying my taxes than I do now. Um, so whereas currently, I feel like I'm being robbed. Um, I'd probably still feel like I'm being robbed, but at least I would feel a little bit better about it uh you know yeah. and, uh, it would it'd be less painful i think uh so yeah. yeah and when you give to a charity yeah there's part of me because there obviously was uh scandals before in the past uh, at least here where like you know it turned out like charities were like 95 percent paying for like their offices and stuff so only like you know only a tiny percentage of money donated was going towards actually helping people and so that you hear about stuff like that so yeah if, if i i often feel a lot better if i'm giving to a charity that like i know for sure for example here the stroke foundation like my family works like in the local area with the stroke foundation to do organizations and things like that. so i know for sure hey this money's actually going to go into like helping the local community of people who need it um so i often give to to, to stroke foundation if i can choose so yeah like i think if you have that that, that local knowledge or just as you say like you're being as transparent as possible with anyone about like hey this is where this money's going to to this person and you create a face and a story and it's the same effect as me knowing for sure because my family uh, helps out with one charity then i know okay it almost feels the same really because i know the i feel like i know the people i got a name i got a face i got you know um transparency on where the money's going so it's kind of the same effect yes. as knowing the person in person I guess is yes. what that's about. I think the the additional uh, transparency of the blockchain too, to be able to see like, oh, my donation went to this address. Now it went to this address um, helps with that also. Uh, Renato, I wanted to ask yeah. you, uh, Bitcoin Beach kind of shook um, shook the world with with the the project kind of getting international acclaim first um, as a circular Bitcoin economy and having an influx of Bitcoiners and Bitcoin tourism. And, and stuff like that. Um, now, Bitcoin Beach has kind of inspired other projects like Bitcoin Lake, Bitcoin Akasi, uh, Bitcoin Beach Brazil. Uh, there's, I know I'm forgetting others. There, there's a whole bunch yeah. of them. Um, and then Rodrigo recently shared a white paper that Bitcoin Beach put out to kind of like help yeah. people start Bitcoin communities. And I actually gave that to someone here in Colombia that wants to start a Bitcoin community. Um, how closely is Bitcoin Beach working with these other uh, Bitcoin circular economies and, and community aid projects? Well, you know, here is, you know, these guys are open to help anyone, right? And that's why they developed the, the, the white paper. Um, so if anyone needs any assistance, they, they can come over here and learn how to do it. Uh, and of course, I, I've seen this, these guys, you know, busy all day, you know, uh, answering questions, emails or tweets, you know, people asking like, hey, how, how can I do this? How can I do that? So on a daily basis, they're helping, you know, every day, you know, every day, everybody. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, to have people like that willing to help out and to, to write something that people can share as well so that others can kind of try and help out their local community is, is awesome. And yeah, it's great to see the growth. I mean, I, I hear about new Bitcoin projects that I didn't even hear about before popping up all the time. Um, and obviously one or two may not, may not work out so great as people intend, but a lot seem to be progressing. And I remember, yeah, Bitcoin Beach Brazil, for example, hearing about that in its like first few days, I think it was. Uh, and now it seems to have grown quite a lot. I think it's changed its name to prior Bitcoin potentially, uh, or it could be something else even, yeah. but um but yeah, there's a lot of uh, of projects that are going on. So my, my hope is that this can be done in tons of communities around the world uh, until we get to the point where realistically, you know, people are just yeah. using Bitcoin by choice uh, in, 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 in on mass. You mentioned um, how New Story uh, and BitRefill would potentially be uh, like collaborating in ways or helping each other out. Um, never i didn't know much i don't know much about it so like it'd be cool if you could tell me how how we're going to be helping helping out a new story i'd, I'd appreciate it yeah sure you you will find new story as a uh, I, how do you call guys vendor or brand you know a business yeah, brand business yeah, yeah option, one of our products so, products yeah yeah so you will find new story as a product in, in, in bit refill so people will have their names their home their phone number and then pay so people will be, will be paying monthly on bit refill so if they paid you know with bitcoin beach or you know strike their, that will get them you know five percent cash back and of course they're gonna they're, they're gonna learn how to how to pay 
their bills you know, on bid record. So that's something that we're we're creating materials for that also, you know, with you guys. Right. Are you guys accepting yeah. donations through bit refill also? Well, not yet, but probably we're gonna now that you mentioned we're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, you know. <laughs> that's uh yeah. that's something else, yeah. yeah. Add it add it to the list. We'll get we hope we're not gonna get in trouble for this. We're like, ah that's something extra. No, it sounds like a good idea if there's a if there's a way to do it, right? Um yeah, so yeah, for sure. to, to get it right, like I'm imagining Okay, so I'm imagining there's like a, yeah, there's a product, like new story product or option or whatever. But yeah, as you say, people, so for people to pay their bills, instead of them having to go on to like separate different bill things, they can just pay, the bills get aggregated to you guys and then this family can just pay one bill to you guys every month or whatever. Is that how that works? Right, okay. Yeah. That's an awesome idea. Okay, so it makes it much simpler. Um, so you guys kind of handle the distribution from there. Um, yeah. It's just one simpler payment. Okay, yeah, I mean, I could see how, yeah, I mean, I could see how potentially people could, could, could pay other people like could pay some of these families bills if they wanted to directly right like if they knew the family or something um, yeah and we want to we want to do that sorry to interrupt uh, i want to we want to do that for el santo of course but uh we want to teach the other communities that have been built already you know with, with new story as i mentioned before they already have uh, uh eight communities ten communities built here so they can start paying with bitcoin right so and they can use bit for, for that of course That'd be awesome. Yeah, especially if um that was Jorge. Oh hey, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> He's here. If the yeah. uh if the five percent um yeah, if the five percent deal with a strike still maintain retains, then obviously that that would give people even more of a incentive to to do so, yeah. right? Uh, as well. So that's, exactly. that'd be great if that can stick around. And also if 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 we do happen to have any uh positive price movement over the next year or so, that will also demonstrate to people that yeah, okay, it goes down, but it also goes up so uh you know um there is some hope there okay that's cool well i guess I, yeah I'm i actually sorry. did have have one last question um so you said that new story started with like 10 10 families and then it grew to like 126 families this year and that yeah. you have plans to expand to like over 400 families next year where do you guys yeah. see new story like in five years um are you guys trying to expand outside of el zante or are you going to focus your efforts more on el zante still well, uh, Nusuri had built communities around El Salvador, not only El Sante. They have Huayua, Huachapan, which is are, are all around El Salvador. They have built communities. They have communities in Mexico. Uh, they have communities in Bolivia, if I recall, Bolivia. And, um, and, have, and the first one was in Haiti. That's the first community in Haiti. And uh, okay. in Mexico, wow. actually, they have built the first 3D printed community, you know, in the world. So that's ha that happened in Mexico. So five years from now, all the Central America, you know, we're gonna keep building. Nice, we have a 3D printed citadel. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the dream. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's uh, it's lofty, lofty goals, but good goals nonetheless. And also, especially, yeah, um, yeah, what you're up to at New Story is awesome. Um, if people want to donate, um people listening yeah it's um uh, new story charity charity.org sorry new story charity.org slash donate um yes. just to be clear and obviously you can donate with fiat bitcoin i'm assuming potentially something else i'm not sure but um i'm sure there's lots of ways for people to donate um so yeah please do go ahead and and, and do so if you want to support the the project but yeah thanks Renato. i appreciate you uh coming on i'm sure it's been an uh, interesting listen for everyone out there to kind of get an update on like the situation in el salvador especially like your perspective and what you've been up to uh with strike and and el zante and, and new story especially um yeah is there anything you want to say like anywhere people can find you online or anything before you head out well if you can if you want to reach out on twitter hola that's hi in espanol hola i am renato that's my handle so feel free to, to text me wherever i'm here for you guys if you want to come to el zante and know about our our projects with new story we're welcome to come here uh i'm here in the bitcoin beach as well so everybody's welcome here well i'm waiting for you guys i wanted to ask like do you guys accept volunteers like if somebody wanted to come and, and help out like that on yes. the ground yeah yes okay awesome okay. i'll keep that in mind yeah who knows what the the next year beholds yeah i um i'm hoping to come back out again at some point in the next uh i'd say year to half year and a half period um so hopefully i can and uh yeah it'd be good to meet you and 
guess see if there's any way I can help out in my short period of time I'm there. Um, <laughs> for sure, man. That'd be awesome. All right. Well, yeah. Thanks for coming on so much, man. I, I appreciate it. Um, as I said, I'm sure everyone listening has appreciated it. Um, for everyone listening, uh, thank you for for listening um, and finding out about uh, about new story and and, and kind of Renato's uh, journey. Uh, I hope everyone out there listening has an awesome hour, day, week, month, year, and life. Uh, keep loving life. Keep being happy. Keep helping others, and uh, keep on stacking the sats. And we'll see you all soon take care see you later or bolivia if i recall bolivia and um and have and the first one was in haiti that's the first community in haiti and uh okay. in mexico wow. actually they have built the first 3d printed community you know in the world so that's ha that happened in Mexico. So five years from now, all the Central America, you know, we're gonna keep building. Nice, we have a 3D printed citadel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The dream. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's uh, it's lofty, lofty goals, but good goals nonetheless. And also, especially, yeah, um, yeah, what you're up to at New Story is awesome. Um, if people want to donate, um. People listening, yeah, it's um, newstory.org slash donate. Uh, New story, charity, charity.org. Sorry, newstorycharity.org slash donate. Ignore what I said yes. earlier, newstorycharity.org slash donate. Um, yes. Just to be clear, and obviously you can donate with fiat, Bitcoin, I'm assuming potentially something else, I'm not sure, but um, I'm sure there's lots of ways people to donate. Um, so yeah, please do go ahead and, and, and do so if you want to support the, the project. Yeah, thanks, Renato. I appreciate you uh, coming on. I'm sure it's been uh, interesting listening for everyone out there to kind of get an update on like the situation in El Salvador, especially like your perspective and what you've been up to uh, with Strike and, and El Zante and, and New Story, especially. Um, yeah, is there anything you want to say, like anywhere people can find you online or anything before you head out? Well, if you can, if you want to reach out on Twitter, hola, that's hi in Espanol. Hola, I am Renato. That's my handle. So feel free to. You text me wherever I'm here for you guys. If you want to come to El Sonte and know about our, our projects with the story, you're welcome to come here. Uh, I'm here in the Bitcoin Beach as well. So everybody's welcome here. Well, I'm waiting for you guys. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to ask, like, do you guys accept volunteers? Like if somebody wanted to come and, and help out like that on yes. the ground? Yeah. Yes. Okay, awesome. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, who knows what the the next year beholds. Yeah, I um I'm hoping to come back out again at some point in the next uh, I'd say year to half, year and a half period. Um, so hopefully I can. And uh, yeah, it'd be good to meet you and yes, yeah, see if there's any way I can help out my short period of time I'm there. Um, <laughs> for sure, man. That'd be awesome. All right. Well, yeah. Thanks for coming on so much, man. I I appreciate it. Um, as I said, I'm sure everyone listening has appreciated it. Um, for everyone listening. Uh, thank you for for listening um, and finding out about uh, about new story and and, and kind of Renato's uh, journey. Uh, I hope everyone out there listening has an awesome hour, day, week, month, year, and life. Uh, keep loving life, keep being happy, keep helping others, and uh, keep on stacking the sats. And we'll see you all soon. Take care. See you later. Bye.